Good afternoon, Audio Q users. I'm Barry Mitchell. I'm obviously the inventor of Audio Q. So I've completely rebuilt Audio Q from scratch. And the reason is that Audio Q was a bit clunky. Um, people didn't really know what they were doing. So now all you need is one MP3 file for your track and audio cue does the rest so if you've got let's say you've got a folder with 100 mp3s in it right now you could upload them to a to audio cue right now and it'll take you minutes to build a track list and play it so i'm going to show you how it's done so first of all i'm going to press add tracks this is going to open my browser and i'm going to find the tracks so i've got tracks there in this folder already so I'm going to upload these 30, 40 tracks there. I just press select. That puts them ready to be uploaded. So now when I press upload, you notice here I'm actually using the free account. So this works in the free account as well. So I'm going to tell you a wee bit more about the free account in a minute. Uh, so when I press upload now, what's going to happen is it's going to sanitize the tracks, sanitize the folders and ready them for playing. So press upload. Cleaning tracks. Cleaning folders. See your hands in the background there. And that's it done. So all of your MP3 files are now folded, ready to go with lyrics files. So you see there, I've got Al Wilson, the snake. You don't need to now go and find um, lyrics because Audio Q will do it for you. So you press on the remake icon here. Type in the name of the artist, Al Wilson. Uh, the name is the snake. Press search. There's the lyrics there, so you press use. And there's your lyrics. Now, also, you don't need to edit your um, lyrics files anymore. What you can do is, once they're on there, you just press return a couple of times to give yourself a bit of space. I'm going to give myself about six, eight lines, something like that. I'm just going to type intro at the top here. Also, what you can do right here is, this is pretty cool as well, you can actually colour your text right there and then. Press inline editor. And you can put in here, colour equals, let's put yellow. And I'll just move to the end there. Type colour. Oh, that's wrong. I need to put that as colour. Press inline, inline editor again. Easy for me to say. <laughs> and that turns it yellow. Simple as that. Press save. Let's add a couple of tunes just so we can see what happens in the track list. Um, Curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity killed the cat. The song is um, Down to Earth. Search. Lyrics. Use. That needs to be a bit of intro as well, so let's put in that much space. I'm just guessing the spaces. So, I'm <clears throat> just thinking when, <clears throat> when I go to play this, I'm going to need some space, because there is an introduction to the song. Press save. So I've got um, all Wilson. I'm going to put all summer along as well. Uh, Kid Rock. Kid Rock. All summer long. All summer long. Search. There we go, use. I'll just throw some spaces in there as well. Save. Now I'm going to add a playlist. And I want to press on... I pressed on playlist at the top menu there. There's tracks, playlist, sends and help. So I press on add playlist. I'm just going to call this my new playlist. Press save. There's your playlist. So I've made the buttons a bit chunkier as well now so you could use your touch screen <laughs> to make it a bit easier. So press on this icon here which shows your playlists. So I put in there Al Wilson Snake. Now you see here, um, here's the free version. You get a maximum of 10 songs per playlist and you're able to add two, two playlists. Whereas before you got one play with, playlist with five songs. Um, you're now able to actually use this as a free version um, for small gigs. Uh, I'll also curiosity and what else did I put in there? Awesome along. And that's it done. So press play. Now, as you can see, the, the new user interface for the player has a bar along the top, that brown bar there. If you press on the song Al Wilson, it brings up the name at the top, loads the lyrics, and the controls at the bottom are kind of the same. Double spacing and scroll speed is specifically for the tracks. And underneath me at the bottom here is um, auto scroll, so you could tick that on off. If you tick auto scroll, it's for all tracks, whereas speed and uh, double spacing is for individual tracks. 
and I've still got the um, track volumes and the master volume and also the side open and close for making the lyrics wider so if you're using an iPad or a small screen you can expand the lyrics for that now that's done it's took me longer to explain this than it did actually if I had just shut up and just got on with it so <laughs> I'll just press play and that's it done the lyrics are in place the music is in place the timing is correct I was able to colour it and now if you look at the top left hand side of the screen there is a progress button let me just turn it and maybe shade there is now a progress bar on the top that shows you the progress of your song as well. And it's as simple as that. If you want to resize the text, that's now done in the settings. So in the settings box, you've got here my lyrics. You're able to select your font. So that changes the font. The font size changes the size of the font. And also now I've put in a different background because someone requested, um, it's been six months ago, can I have a white background with black text? So you can. Uh, if you go to uh, black text on white background and then go back to your playlists press your actually just press play button so looking at that again press play the text is now the background is now white and the text is black so let's put on curiosity this time there you go so now you got black background uh, white text or white background with black text and of course you're also able to update the speeds and stuff like that, but um, if you are familiar with AudioQ then you'll know that um, 120 is a good speed for most songs. And um, if you want to edit the spacing in your text, just go to Tracks. You can also rename the tracks as well if you wanted. So instead of it saying Alvelson and Snake Back in Tracks, you can just put in Alvelson. Tick the box. And that's done. There's actually two spaces in there, so let's remove those spaces. Alison hyphen the snake. Cool. Uh, now I also want to change Curiosity's spacing of the lyrics as well. I think there's a bit too much in there. I also, let me show you this. This is pretty cool. Press inline editor again. You can actually bold underline stuff like that as well. Press color yellow. I just want to make that blue because we are currently using the white background with black text. Save, playlist, play, curiosity. There it is there. That's now blue. I could have done it to the whole paragraph if I wanted to. There it is there. Press that again. Press edit. Delete that. Put it over here. Color. Basic markup it's called. It's just basic HTML type stuff. There you go, that's blue. Playlists, play, Curiosity Kill the Cat, and it's blue. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. This is working 100% now on Mac and Windows, and I will be making a Android and iOS version really soon. Um, like I say, any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.